It's showtime. Let's kick some ass. All your base are belong to us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast, the SGC recap special. My name is Matt, and I am here with Andy. What's up? Not much. I'm actually kind of tired. Yeah, I'm a little tired too, even though I took that random nap while everyone Your was Your wine-induced gone. nap. Yeah, my wine-induced nap at three in the afternoon. Thanks to Matt's <laughs> frenzy, a wine box. Yeah, um, I, I, don't, I don't know how to elaborate on that. We went out, we got here... Wanted to get some alcohol because we're going to party. Yeah. Um, the place we went to drop Camille off is a wine and beer country county only. Yeah, and we spent like an hour looking for liquor. And then eventually I was just like, fuck it. I was like pretty pissed. Yeah. I was just like, fuck it. I don't give a shit. Fuck it. And we bought wine. <laughs> and I got I got beer, which was nice and easy. Um, fuck. Uh, I bottomed out the car. Yeah, getting, you did. Getting some wine. That, uh, that random dip. Yeah, dude. And then Apple Maps. Apple Maps fucked us. Dude, Apple Maps fucked us, but in Dallas, downtown Dallas, Apple Maps did well. Yeah, but Google Maps probably would have done it. Yeah, Google Maps is just, just as good. I'm just saying. Yeah. I like Apple Maps that has the restaurants on there. I wish Google did that. Though Google's... I don't know. Google's got to have something. Google's more reliable. Yeah. I'll agree with you that. And I did finally find the arrow on the on my Google nice. GPS. Yeah. Um, this is kind of weird for us. I was just telling Andy before we started that uh, this is the first time since 2009 I've done a podcast not in my house, so I feel weird. Yeah, we're doing this in the hotel room with not our mics. Yeah, we're, we're using kind of like backup microphones that I just kind of had and threw into my backpack. So I could have brought my other one. We could have had the same one. I didn't even think about it because, you know, I had the other one, so I was like, I'll just bring these two. Um, but, it, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, this I was supposed to upload this on Sunday, but it probably won't happen you'll probably be listening to this on monday because the hotel's internet is shit dude it is absolute shit though we do get better upload than we do download yeah yeah it's <laughs> about it's, it's still a couple shit. couple point megabytes maybe point 60 point 30 megabytes we faster like, yeah we were getting like point 3 megabits per second download yeah and, and like, we were one, point like something. 1 point something yeah. upload which that's a first. That's weird. Yeah, uploads like never above download. But guess what? It and is our weird. three, our three G was faster than the Wi Fi. Easy. Yeah, I could even play a fourteen second YouTube video. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna recap SGC the whole trip. Actually, we're just gonna yeah. recap everything. Um. We did post a lot of pictures. Um. Well, at least Matt did. Yeah, I, I started post. I'll have more. Um. I didn't post like the grassy knoll stuff. All right. I'll send you. I'll send you the stuff I, I, I took. I should post the Mad Moxie picture with Tyler on our yeah. podcast page. I only did that on my personal page, but that's a pretty good one. Um. Do you just want to recap it day by day? Yeah. Let's go day by day. Is that, is that you want to start with Thursday then? Yeah. We'll start with Thursday. All right. So what do we start Thursday, like? Set the scene. Uh. Four in the fucking morning. Four in the morning. Four in the morning. Still dark out. Andy arose. Yeah. And was pretty pissed. Yeah. And for me, it was uh, about one in the morning. Matt arose, said, "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> Tried to go back to sleep. Two in the morning. Woke up again. Said, "No, no, 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 no." Did you get some sleep between one and two? Laid uh, about a half hour. Okay. <laughs> Laid back down. Stayed there. Stayed there till three. Said, "Fuck it," <laughs> and got up. Dude, I that's I always hate. The day before trips, because nobody ever fucking sleeps except Italy. I actually did sleep, which was weird. That's good. But SGC, I didn't. It was like a restless sleep for me. Yeah, the night yeah, before. That's how I was too. Um, also, to set the scene, my mic stand right now is a pizza box. So that's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's a total like dude's hotel room. Yeah, here. Matt's resting his arm on a giant <laughs> on a giant Bud Light box. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, I am resting my arm on a Bud Light. We box. don't even have Bud Light boxes this big in Omaha. Oh man, you gotta be able to find it somewhere. Like what? Are, what are the twenty? I mean, Camilla, it's only twenty-four. What, bottle. Are the, what are the twenty-four packs I get? They don't look like this in Omaha. 
This is like this is like a cart. Yeah, yeah, it's like the cardboard like square things. Oh, wow. This is like a carton of beer. It, it is like a carton of beer. Um, so I got up and I was ready pretty quickly. I'll, I was I was already pretty much packed. Yeah, you were outside when I pulled up. Yeah, I just went down and hung out oh, the until you we pulled up. We rented a bomb ass car. We've got the best car. Um, so after Hertz the first time fucked up, and I called back and got everything situated. Um, that I basically the people on the AAA line through Hertz don't know what the fuck they're doing. So when I went in, got everything straightened out, got our old price because the new price was supposed to be like four eighty or yeah, something. Yeah, it was like a hundred some dollars more than the yeah. price we had. But thankfully, we were prepared to pay. in both the reservations, one was not even my name, and it was for noon pickup. And then the new one I made was for three three o'clock pickup when I fucking specified six p.m. Yeah. or uh. 5 p.m., sorry. Uh-huh. So, fucking... Yeah. So, went in, got that all situated. We got a 2013 Honda Civic. The mm-hmm. thing the thing does everything short of fly. Yeah, it, it's pretty sweet. One of the best things is you can plug it in. You plug your iPhone yeah. into it. Um, and Pandora syncs up to the Pandora car. Syncs up. I, I wonder if I could... I could probably do that with my phone, too. We could. Because it's a USB. It's not like it's a iPhone We'll give it a try. Connected. We can give it a try. Yeah. But, but I know some are like programmed for the, fucking The iPhones. cool thing is, is it changes your dash, like your CD radio controls to Pandora controls. Yeah. And it has a little LCD display. that. And you can the, like the, things yeah. on the LCD. It's cool. Yeah. It, it's real great. Um, it has a little economy button. Gets us better gas mileage. I think it did. I think it did. I think. Well, yeah. And I think we average. About we're 30. We're average 32 five. right now. The car said 35 today. You sure? Yeah. You really sure? Yeah. Because it said 32 yesterday. Did it? Whatever. Yeah. Fucking... Maybe the people are joyride my car. Yeah. Yeah. They got a little joyride out of it. Um, um, but yeah, pretty sweet. Nice car. It was it took a, the car ride down was actually really fast. Yeah, I, we th- did, I thought it went by pretty fast. We did some good time. Yeah, we did some good time until we got to Dallas. Dude, fucking just. <laughs> okay, well uh, let's set the scene. Okay, so Andy picks me up. Picks me up late, by the way. Like, uh, 10 minutes late. <laughs> you were 20 minutes late. All right, 20 minutes <laughs> late. I'm sorry. Off to a good start. So, um, but I was too excited at the point. And we, we get to IHOP, and uh, Stefan and everybody were late. Yeah. So so we weren't late there. Everyone's off to a good start. <laughs> but Leaper's always late. Leaper is always late. He runs on Leaper time. And don't even get me started about Leaper's fucking making him pay for premium gas on the way down. <gasps> yeah! Leaper made him pay for premium gas in his old. It's, it's like it's like a Mercedes or a Lexus, but it's it's an older car. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's not. It's a land yacht, but it's nonetheless, not super it nice, doesn't need premium gas. Yeah, there's like a maximum octane rating, and like putting premium gas. Like if I were to put premium gas in my 05 Impala, it wouldn't do any no. better because it's not made to use it. Yeah, like. Corvettes, Mustangs, yeah, Corvettes, those, Mustangs. those yeah. can get those the premium, premium gas. gas because their engines are made to use it to get more power out of them. Yeah. My engine would be like, it's gas. Yeah. What's, what's this? What's this? So Leaper, Leaper's one of those, my sister does the same thing. She, does she? She buys really nice, like the premium gas. Not worth it. It just makes you feel good. Yeah, but dude, 89 is it. perfect. 89 is perfect. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to put that ethanol crap in my in my car, but if you have anything made past, like, 1970, yeah. the engine knows how to use it, because they've been built ethanol, for it. Yeah, ethanol's been in gas forever, yeah. so I don't The, I don't the, only, the only things right now that they still say don't put ethanol in are sports cars. Yeah. But besides that, if you don't and have a sports car, it doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't matter. I've seen sports cars with the E85 things yeah, on them well, now. Like, yeah, like, uh, I think NASCAR uses flex fuel now, yeah. so... Yeah. So, but uh, off that tangent, uh, we get really good gas mileage. Yeah, they we, said they spent like a couple, like a hundred some bucks in gas to get down here. We spent sixty. We spent sixty bucks. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, we it was really cheap. So that was that was great. Oh, the music in IHOP was terrible. Oh yeah, what was the station? It um, was light rock eighties or something. Rock. Yeah, light eighties rock. <laughs> so bad like i was like mad how bad it was i i, I talked about oh shit no yeah <laughs> i Ooh. talked about um sending an email complaining or something being like your music is just awful it's so bad <laughs> okay. 
So uh, we leave there. We get Hit some better road. music. Uh, get the GPS going. I will say I really do like that GPS. The, yeah, it the, makes me reconsider having an actual GPS, not relying on my phone one. The GPS I, is really, really nice. I was really surprised the, by the that. The problem with the GPS, or at least my GPS, I'm sure other GPS have it, you can't like import your own route. It just gives you the route it thinks is best, and you have to kind of change the first couple steps on your own before the GPS is finally like, oh, you're taking this way, okay. Which... I mean, it reroutes pretty damn fast, it too. Does. But yeah. uh, I wish it gave you the Google Maps option where you could pick your routes. It gives you, like, three yeah. different ones. Mm-hmm. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be really nice. Because on Google Maps, the route we took is the second option. Yeah. And, yeah. But, I mean, it was fine. We had a great time. No, I like that route much better. And it's cheaper on the tolls, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We took tolls. and le- Did Leaper bypass no, they, them? they stopped at lunch. That's why they're about an hour. Oh, uh, okay. But they went through more. I don't know how they went through more Oklahoma. I have no fucking idea how they did that because they were going to take the same route we did. I, yeah. We didn't go through more. I don't know how they did, but they did. And no. uh, Yeah, the toll road cost us two bucks. Two bucks. Two dollars to avoid about an hour and a half of trying to avoid that toll. Yeah. Totally worth it. If I, You know what? I, I, I don't understand the thought process. I'm kind of bagging on Leaper here. I'm sorry, <laughs> Leaper, but... I don't understand Leaper's thought process before we left. He's like, I'm not paying tolls, I'm not paying tolls, I'm not paying tolls. It's like, dude, you're going to the Dallas Hyatt Regency in downtown Dallas. You're paying for premium gas on the way there. And you don't want to pay, at most, $8 to use a road. Yeah, I think the highest charge on that card when I was looking at it was 10 bucks. Yeah. So, I don't understand his thought process there, but yeah. whatever. You know, toll, so, toll roads are not that bad. A lot of people try to, like, avoid toll roads, but th- it, they're not that expensive. They're they really, really are not. Especially in the U.S., dude. Italy, what was it? Italy was, like, 8 euros. Convert that. It's about 11, 12 bucks. No. Yeah. Um, so, on our way down, making really good time. Really, really good time. Um... Oh, bought an energy drink so we don't got to stop. Yeah, Andy stopped to stretch his legs, and I was kind of thinking, like, already? We're stopping already? And then later, Andy tells me, yeah, I was about ready to fall asleep. I'm like, fuck, fucking tell me! I'm like, if you're about ready to fall asleep, yeah. I'll drive. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why when I went in there, I was like, stretch my legs and get an energy drink. <laughs> so, yeah, I did that. After the energy drink, I was fine. Then yeah. Matt took over. And then Matt was tunnel vision <laughs> Yeah, near the end of my drive, yeah, I started getting tunnel vision. I drove from about 10.30 to 4. And I was like, yeah, I got to tag out. <laughs> Which that it worked out fine. That our driving thing worked out well. Yeah, so. the drive was really smooth all yes. the way down. Yeah, should be pretty nice the way up too. Yeah, um, the second we leave Dallas, it's just gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be easy, dude. Yeah, and we'll be flying. So. Yeah. Um. So we so drop Camilla. I think yeah, it's just ride Camilla. down, and then we drop Camilla off. And yeah. Then we try to find some try, alcohol. Try to find alcohol just, that pissed us both off. Yeah, <laughs> we were both just so fucking yeah, mad. Yeah, we went to bed angry at the world and each other. <laughs> uh, it was just it was just fucking frustrating was it was all, extremely man. frustrating and Andy and I are you know had been cooped up in this car together for a good 12 hours <laughs> now we're in the same room we we're just like fucking I don't even want to look at you but then we woke up the next day <laughs> we woke up the next day and we were fine we were buddies again <laughs> yeah and we went started walking places to go eat um went to the f- we went Fountain. to the Founders Grill the first day. Um, really good, cheap. Really good. Cheap. We had to wait a little bit, but that's because there was there was like a party of like forty fucking people there when we walked. Yeah, in. it was insane. And uh, so I, I went to check in on Facebook at the Founders Grill. Well, <laughs> I went to check in, and guess what? It said popular places near this location, Grassy Knoll, eight hundred feet away. Which in all the history books. I didn't. I actually just completely wrote the grassy knoll off, like in my head. Yeah, the place where JFK was assassinated. We were 800 feet from it, so we went there and took some pictures. Made a couple of reenactment jokes. <laughs> yeah, we made a few. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. The first day of SGC. Um, um, well, we got our badges. We yeah, we got our badges. We got check bad- the area out. Yeah, we checked the area out. Um, went to the opening ceremony, which really wasn't it that was exciting. Planned. The closing was way better. The closing was way better than the opening ceremony. Um, I think it was the first day Hey Ash. Hey Ash was the first day. Um, Had some people ask some stupid questions. Dude, I, I just... I, oh, fucking neckbeards, dude. Like, here's... Neckbeards and fucking bronies. Yeah, oh my god. First day, I got handed a 
flyer to BronyCon. I said no thanks. There was a guy wearing a Brony cape. He had a Just, My Little Pony tattoo. Bronies are so fucking awkward. Dude. I know, I and just, if you're a brony and you listen to this, stop. I'm just, like, I'm sorry we're bagging <laughs> on you, but dude, I'm not. if you're... I'm sorry. Andy's I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm bagging on you, but get your shit together. <laughs> My Little Ponies is made for young girls, not a third, not a, like, 24-year-old man. Yeah, so, uh, opening ceremony, kind of boring. The opening ceremonies of the first two were, like, hype. Like, oh, let's get rid of SGC, everybody. I don't remember the first one. The first one was a lot of Angel hype. The second year, Angel was hyping it up. Then Craig came out dressed as somebody. I forget his name. And then, like, Jared, Ben, and Chad were, like, a boy band doing, like, some dance and, like, doing... Sweet. It was oh, awesome. oh, the black, the black oh, nerd. Oh, Andre the Black Nerd pretended that he, was, he came out as Reggie from Nintendo of America, and he was hilarious. Yeah, he did a Nintendo yeah. rap, which was really good. It was really good, yeah. Uh, Andre started... I guess that, that's the highlight of the opening that ceremony. That was the highlight that. of the opening ceremony. And then we went to the Hey Ash panel. Which, I mean, there, we saw their new video. It's really good. Yeah, it is really good. Um, people asking dumb questions, that's what yeah, I was doing. Yeah, um, When I go to those panels, one, I don't like when people ask the obvious question. Like, yeah. Like, at the Angry Video Game Nerd panel... Usually, didn't happen no, here, apparently. It, 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 um, well, what were you going to say? People are like, what's the worst game you've ever played? Uh, someone, someone did ask, the, what's your favorite Nintendo game? Oh, that, is. I, that one too. Which everybody would ask, everyone was like, like oh. <laughs> Good. Good. Like, the people were a lot more vocal this year with, like, stupid fucking questions. Good. And at the Hey Ash panel, like, I want to know things about Hey Ash. Like, yeah. what was the toughest episode to record? What was the most fun episode to record? Like, what yeah, what's your favorite episode? Yeah, stuff like that. But people were like, "What's your thoughts on season four of Arrested Development? What's your thought on the Xbox One?" Uh, they talked about like, a shitload of Metal Gear. A lot of Metal Gear. A lot yeah. of Metal Gear Solid. Um, and I was just like, I want to know more about Hey Ash. Yeah, I really didn't recognize the chick on the end because of the mustache. That yeah, it was the chick from the Tomb Raider video. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, oh I know who you are now. Uh, they all wore mustaches, that was pretty funny. That was, uh, the the Justin guy's mustache was hilarious. Yeah. That shitty, awful. Yeah, um... What did we I'm trying to think of what we did after that. The game room was pretty sweet. Went down in the game yeah. room, had a sweet game of NBA Jam. Very sweet. Yeah. Dude, it was, was mad. Lay down. Uh, very much a back and forth game. What happened was, in the first quarter, um, Andy got up by about nine points, Seems and in right. the second quarter, I was able to cut that lead and tie him at half. And then in the third quarter, I got up by about eleven points. Yeah, you were on a roll. And then one. Andy came back in the fourth quarter, and I think he still beat me though. No, you won oh, the first one. Me? Yeah, you won the first oh, one by I think two points. Um, and then I won the one on the second night. Right, so I'm going through the schedule the first day here. Okay. See if we missed it. Um, I ended up. After those first two panels, the opening ceremony and the q and I was a little, uh... I didn't really want to go to any more Q&A panels, you know? Yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, the stream. The streaming, yeah. It was streaming on a budget. Uh, Which, we, man, I both really wanted to see it. Yeah, because we like live streaming. So what we did was we went there and we sat down and there's these two girls there wearing kimonos. And kimonos? No fucking reason. Yeah, well, it's a gaming convention. Wow, you it's just want shit. <laughs> um, but they were so annoying. They were just being fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, they they were doing like the typical like kawaii voice, like yeah. high pitch, not funny. So Andy and I just left. We were like, dude, I can't take it. Yeah, and we left. Where do we go? Is that one with Dan Chalaz with Courtney? That because Courtney yes, found us. yeah, because Courtney found us in there, and yeah, yeah then we went to enchiladas. Which was a great place. I stole a fork. Good text. <laughs> Good text Max Mad Jack fork. I did. Um, um, stole it too. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah! <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Camilla just called me out for a dollar. Uh, you know, we haven't even talked about the hotel. Oh yeah, hotel's pretty sweet. Dude, <laughs> our uh, our shades in our room are retractable, like yeah, automatic, retractable. automatic retractable. Yeah, you shades. press a button and retracts the shades. Um, good view of Dallas skyline. Uh, we, we have, have a cool night light. Night light. Our, our bathroom doors are stupid. It's not an actual yeah, door. Stupid. It's yeah. like sliding. It's like sliding doors that meet in the middle and you lock them. Yeah, which you can still totally see. Well, yeah, like if you were to stand in the middle and put your eye in there, <laughs> yeah. you could totally see in there. 
Which I did. I Good. did a lot. You like what you, you like what you saw? No. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. I loved what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. Um, the hotel is gigantic. Huge hotel. Kind of strict. It was nice. Not nearly as fun as the Westin. Very nice though. But yeah, near it. Not as fun as the Westin. The Westin. They should go back there. They should go back there. I would. I wonder why they. I wonder if they just had shit booked there. I think the Westin. That that too. Because when they kickstarted it, they're like, we're running out of. Like we need to hurry up and find a venue. Like right. Got now. it. And uh, sorry, my computer. Oh. Computer went dark. I didn't know if it stopped. I, or yeah, or I didn't want to <laughs> go to sleep. Yeah, keep talking, and then the recording yeah. didn't work. Um. So yeah, that was it. The hotel just strict. But um, really nice. Yeah, yeah very, very nice. Really, really very nice. nice. Um, the, having the the two levels of it, there was like the fr- top level was all the like the panel rooms and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was the main panel. And room. then in the basement, or I guess the second floor underneath, was the game room, and then uh, some other the little side heaven, rooms and um, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the table, indie heaven. Stuff, gaming. Um, like I know the Black Nerds panel was down there. And right. YouTube hell and stuff like that. Um, the it, second day. Let's talk about Indie Heaven. That was the first day. Oh, yeah. Indie Heaven. We played this great game called Rush Bros. It's on Steam right now. Steam Greenlight. Yeah. Um, what it is, is it's very similar to, like... Gameplay style is Super Meat Boy. N-, N Plus or Super Meat Boy. Yeah. Um, and it's got, like, a... I don't know. Maybe they took inspiration from Audio Surf, but the colors and the game pace... It did remind me a lot of Audio Yeah, Surf. the colors and the game pace change with the music you play. And you can put your own music in there, yeah. so it's it's really cool. So Matt and I, I bought a double copy, so we're splitting that on Steam. Yeah. Matt um, played the Angry... Oh, sorry. Oh, just going to get to that. Angry Video Game Nerd Adventure is really fun. It, look, it looked really fun. It looks really... It's uh, really hard, but it's like fair hard. How are the you know? controls? Like, oh, do they, do, are easy, they tight? Yeah, uh, yeah are they spot tight? on, yeah. There were some times where I had to jump on very little space. Yeah, I saw that. But I was able to do it without... Were you using an Xbox controller? Yeah. All right, cool. So apparently it's going to be on Xbox Live Arcade, because that's what I was playing it on, Xbox. No, you, maybe they were... De- maybe they were. It was for Xbox. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was oh, okay. Xbox. Um, I didn't play any... There was an Oh Yeah there, an Oh Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I never got to play it. Yeah. Um, the controller looked huge in person. The controller it? looked big. And the buttons looked cheap. The buttons yes. looked really yeah, cheap. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's the biggest knock I heard about but it. But Ash, they said they loved it. Did they? And yeah, they said that one game, if you played Towerfall on Towerfall. it or something, that's like the game to get. Yeah. Um. Second day. Yeah, second day. Yeah. Second day. What did we do the second? That was day? the eventful one. Yeah, yeah. Second day was the best day. Um, got up and where did we go to eat? Second. Second day, day morning. Did we not? Did we not eat until Andrew got here? Yeah, I don't and think we, we ate. That yeah, Italian I don't place. think we ate there till till Andrew yeah. got there. So and yeah, the whole group went to this Italian place, pretty far away too. Yeah, oh, well, the first night is when I got that rum in the ghetto. No, that was the second night. That was the first night. Oh yeah, it was the first. That second was the first. Night. Uh, we're kind of messing this up. That's the second night of the trip. The first night of SGC. So Friday. So Friday. Yeah. So first and second night, we're both. Maybe we should just start saying night or days. Yeah, we'll say Friday. Friday. So Friday, we had to go to the ghetto to get some rum, and this guy on the street corner was yelling at nobody, holding a baby, and there was also a little kid with him. Yeah, he was like, "Don't go back to Dallas." Don't go back to Dallas, and we're just like, "Who the fuck is he yelling?" And everyone else around us is like, "That kid's got a that guy's got a baby. Yeah, he's got a kid with him." Um, Okay, so then second day, we went to this Italian place and ate. It was decent. Yeah, it was decent. I I, I enjoyed my pasta. Yeah, so. it was okay. Um, came back and that the second day was spoony riffing. Yeah, I think really I went I went to uh, Nathan Barnett's show, yeah. which that was pretty good. He wasn't in character, so it was it was different than Keith Apicary, but I yeah. enjoyed it. It was still pretty fun. Um, and then I also went to the Angry Video Game Nerd. Yeah. That was pretty good. All he did was just lay down quotes right after the other. And then instead of having an FAQ panel, they just had people come up and say what quotes they wanted him to say. That's so nice. that was very cool. And then after that is when I started doing stuff with you guys. Yeah, then we, we went to Spoonie Riffing. That was, that was I think, the he, best he thing. He riffed on Final Fantasy Limited. Something else sh- pretty short. Um. Oh, uh, the Shadowrun board game. Yeah, the Shadowrun game. And then... Uh, the Chuck E. Cheese instructional video and Which, the Radio Shack. If you video. guys go on YouTube and look that up, it's it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, but it was hilarious. Spoonie's really good. 
Um, second day, I went to the dealer room, blew some money on some dice. So I, Saturday? Yeah. All right. Yes. Sorry. Saturday, I went to the dealer room and uh, blew some money there. I bought like six assorted dice for six bucks. Which and isn't then, bad. And then I bought a set of precision dice for 20 bucks. Why are they precision? What makes them precision? They don't put them in a rock tumbler. And what they do is they have sharp corners. So you like you know when you roll a dice and you're like, oh, it was on 18, but it rolled over to four. Yeah. These, when they roll, they stick. Like, oh, nice. When you roll them, it lands directly on the number. No, none of that rolling shenanigans. <laughs> All uh, right. And another thing is like when you use a dice over and over and over, it can tend to eventually favor a side. Yeah. And that's how you get lucky dice. Um, these won't favor a side, or at least for a very long time, won't nice. favor a side. So they're... It's kind of minuscule, but they're more fair, technically. All right. Oop, bump my mic. Um, well, actually, I bumped my pizza box that my mic is on. <laughs> let's see. Tyler bought metal dye. Yes, he did for 50 bucks. That's cool, but damn, dude. you don't, 50 bucks for a set of... How many dye were there? It was a set, like, for uh, Dungeons & Dragons. It was uh, a D4, D6, D8, D10, D12, D20, D, uh. D100. But not not the not the like legit D one hundred or I guess not legit because it sucks but not an actual hundred sided die it's no, that'd be it crazy. has from double zero to ninety and you roll it in conjunction with the ten sided die yeah then that's how you get the hundred <laughs> um let's see second day um let's see Keith Apicary wait was it Friday night we played with Keith or was it Saturday night it was Friday night and we were playing with Nathan. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Because yeah. he wasn't in character. But we played Liar's Dice with uh, Nathan and Tom, which, by the way, Tom is very cool. Tom is a really cool dude. Yeah, from uh, Beat Tom is their series. Yeah. And, and then um, Tom, yeah, Tom's a really cool guy. And then the whole screw, the old screw attack game came, or game, gang, came, yeah, like, came derailed by. our game. Yeah, that pretty much derailed the game because they're all talking to Nathan and we we're just kind of sitting there like, oh, guess the game's done. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but it was fun nonetheless. The dude that randomly played with us was pretty cool. Yeah. God damn, what was his name? I feel bad for. Not I'm not gonna be able to remember yeah. his name. Sorry, dude. If you're listening, yeah, to this, I'm he sure was not, he was cool. <laughs> really enjoyed playing with him. Yeah, he, he picked it up really quick. Yeah, he did. He picked it up. Oh, everyone else seemed to like. It was weird. So many people didn't know what we were playing. Yeah, people were walking by and were like, "Liar's dice," you know, from Red Dead Redemption. Uh, really? No Which one? and it took what? me like a like, five minutes to learn the game. It, it wasn't it's pretty bad. quick. Yeah, it took Nathan never ended up. Yeah, <laughs> he has the attention span. Yeah, his attention span wasn't. Of a wasn't gold, too good. Less than a goldfish. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was fun. Liars dice, and then on Saturday, wasted some money in the dealer room. Went to some that animals. that night was a lot more hanging out in the room, or I guess yeah. that was the best part about it, like hanging out, drinking in the room. Yeah. And watching to catch a predator. Yes, we watched so much to catch a predator. And Tyler got stuck in a time warp. Yeah, I don't want to deliberate on that. Tyler got stuck on a time warp. Yeah, we'll just say that. Tyler <laughs> got stuck in a time warp, and we had to make him take a cold shower. And yeah, pretty much. Just, just fuck, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> just fuck. I'm sorry. We'll do it live. And then... Uh, um, I'm trying to think of something else we did on this... We had to do more on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday was Saturday super was the most eventful. fun day. Yeah, it was super eventful, but... What it, did we do for dinner? What did we do for... Chinese, Chinese food. We ordered Chinese, Chinese yeah, food. But we had to run out and grab more rum. Yeah, we had to go get more rum. Matt finished off a bottle. Yeah. Rum. I drank two bottles over the weekend. And some wine and some beer. <laughs> but the thing is, I never got a hangover. Because... You just constantly did it. Yeah, I never, like... I never came here and drank, like, eight shots. Like, I would come up to the room and drink two. And then go back down for a few hours. And then come back down. We went to uh, YouTube Hell with... With alcohol in hand. <laughs> we went to YouTube hell. Andy had two bottles of beer and I had a bottle of rum. And we were just sitting in the back watching videos <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I accidentally grabbed a... I put a bunch of beer in there and I grabbed a fucking warm one and took a swig of that and I was like... Ugh. So yeah, for a lot of the convention I was pretty like nicely tuned up. <laughs> but I wasn't drunk. And I didn't get any hangovers. I had a body hangover today. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, like my head are... was fine, but I was just like... Ugh. Body hangovers are way better than head hangovers, yeah. dude. Because you can at least do shit with a body hangover. Yeah, I just feel kind of eh for a little while. Uh, lo lots of, lots of walking. 
Yeah, oh, which I mean, that was fine. Yeah. Lots of fucking sweating because yeah, Texas is so fucking hot. It's so hot. The good thing about it is our friend uh, Tyler was staying across the street at Hotel Lawrence with his dog, Prince Henry. The Corgi. The Corgi. Um, <sighs> but the cool thing is you could walk. There was a tunnel to a train station. So you could walk about halfway ish. It was a pretty. It was a pretty yeah. long tunnel. Um, to Hotel Lawrence, and then come from underground and finish the other half of the walk, you know, outside. So yeah, it was a pretty nice walk. Hotel Lawrence smelled like piss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also smelled like weed in there. Yeah. Prince Henry made a break for it a couple times. A couple times, yeah. The Prince Henry, his dog, made a break for it, and he was, like, jogging down the hallway. And so I was chasing after him, and then I started to run, and then he started to sprint. He's like, asshole. oh, shit. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, better go. Whoa. And he also posted a picture of Tyler him. was carrying him back. Yeah. Like a baby. <laughs> he was just holding him like a baby, and Prince Henry just had, had this, this, like, shit yeah, grin, on shit grin on his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Michael, I made you chase for me again. <laughs> it was so funny. He was a good dog, though. He's a great dog. Um, let's see. Like I said, the I can't really like pinpoint like, oh, we did this on Saturday and it was super fun because we just we chilled here for so long and it we was just super fun. we did a lot of like fun things, but there wasn't anything that was extraordinarily fun. Yeah. Um, Keith Apicary broke his foot. Broke his foot. Stefan. Got to introduce him. Yeah. Uh, at his, at the Keith's musical mayhem, which was really good. I'm happy. There's got to be video somewhere. Yeah. There, oh, easy. I, or yeah, that there'll whole, be video that, that on whole his. Filmed, yeah. yeah. Um, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, Keith beat up Nathan, as he put it on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> he said Keith beat me up, but uh, yeah, Keith broke his foot. Jumping off of a 15 foot. 15 foot jump. Just broke his foot. Finished the panel on one foot. Yeah. Like a trooper. Like a trooper. Having surgery this week. Yeah, so he's stuck in the hotel that we're in for a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's pretty crazy. What? We, why, why didn't we go to the Nathan Barnett Power Hour? Oh, wasn't the long stupid? The, the line was stup- stupid long. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. The lines it was longer. Yeah, long. the lines this year were, were, were fucking... Insane. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Stupid long. The right? AVGN one went to the doors yeah, in our hotel. Lobby. Yeah. Which, that's a good couple hundred feet. Easy, yeah. Yeah, easy couple hundred feet. This line was stupid Gigantic. long. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, what do we do today? Oh, everybody had DSs. Everybody had Matt DSs. Matt and I were yeah. the only one that didn't like have like three DSs. DSs. There was like three paths, three paths. Um, there was a Mad Moxie here, and she was incredibly hot. Matt, Matt enjoyed her. Oh, make her mine. <laughs> But, she will be mine. Uh, Tyler hover handed her. I may or may not have paid him money for that picture, but you'll probably be seeing that on the Facebook page when I get a chance to upload it. I didn't make out with Hey Ash. It was a yeah, sad day. So Camilla doesn't have to break off the engagement. <laughs> or little does she know. Keeping the ring either way. <laughs> yeah. She's keeping the ring. Pawn that shit. Um. Get some money. What do we do today, Andy? Um. Sunday. Let's see. Sunday. Woke up. Oh, uh, dealer room. Dealer room. I bought some decals. I uh, I bought a TARDIS for my boss. So yeah. Dealer room. The closing ceremony was pretty yeah. Nice. The Iron Man of Gaming finals. Um, pretty epic, actually. T- two mystery games. The first mystery game was Ducktales remastered, which looked really good. Mm-hmm. The second mystery game, which was insane. Yeah. Uh, Killer Instinct for the Xbox One. Which they Craig pointed out announced a week ago, a week or so ago. Yeah. It, the thing had just been announced. Which, and it, it looks pretty. It looked it looked really looked, great. Yeah. I wish I could remember the name of the Iron Man of Gaming Champion so I can give him props. But Yeah, he won back-to-back he won two back to years, back. so he's, good he's, for him. He's the only guy to repeat. And as, this is the last year of mm-hmm. Iron Man, too. Only guy to ever repeat as Iron Man of Gaming Champion, and then he did it in the last year. Yeah, so good for him. Yeah. Dude, he was kicking some ass with that werewolf. He was. He was fucking some shit up. I wonder if the other guy picked the werewolf because of how... How he was just was. fucking yeah. his shit up. So the Iron Man Gaming Final was really good. The closing. closing ceremony was awesome. Yeah. It was just like, that's that's the kind of hype I wish they would have yeah. had this year they throughout sh- most of it. They should have brought that with the opening, it, dude. This year was kind of weird. Like, it was fun, but it missed some sort of energy to it that the first two years it had. Just, it wasn't, the f- it w- for me, it wasn't the first year. Like, the first year had something. Yeah, the first two years were, like, really energetic and... 
fun, and you could come down at 2 a.m. and there's like a buzz to the room. Yeah, there's still stuff going on. Yeah, but and this, it, it this probably year, we didn't have that. It probably didn't help either that Keith Apcare wasn't able to do yeah. his thing. Yeah, he wasn't able to do his thing without getting broke kicked his out foot. of the hospital too. Yeah. Well, even if he didn't, he probably. I don't know if he still even would have. I don't know. It, I mean, if he had to have surgery, I guess there's a point where you have to be like, all right, I got to yeah. get this taken care of. Were you in the room when Craig was doing the Mike Tyson punch out? And yeah, I was, was there like, for a little bit. Craig! <laughs> like, he yelled it, and it was cool. It echoed, and then Craig looked over, and it was just like, oh, my God. Yes! Yes, yeah. I was there for that. That was great. Yeah, Craig, um, Tom was telling us how Craig, Craig just basically, he's not happy with what Nathan does, but yeah. he, he knows it's him. Like, like, when after Nathan broke his foot, he, he was talking to Tom, and he's like, "I told him not to do anything like that, but I know it's Keith." Yeah. It's like, I like he knows that everybody loves Keith too. Yeah, that's Just that's everybody. gonna be so stressful for yeah. Greg. Like, dude, you're one of your biggest attractions. Like the one everybody always has this buzz it's about such is a the wild, one that could like. It's the get, wild you, card, yeah, dude. Yeah, like, could be a liability yeah <laughs> he's a liability sometimes i bet he goes to bed like during the con- the convention just every night like i can't fucking do it when does craig go to bed i don't know if he goes convention? to bed dude i guess he played the mike tyson punch out till like four in the morning yeah, he or something five hours yeah, yeah. and didn't beat him which that sucks that sucks that he didn't beat him what really sucks is he did but it never got recorded yeah so like it was like lore and he's like i gotta do it i gotta do it on camera on live stream too mm-hmm. that's felt bad um Today, we... Closing ceremony, awesome, very energetic. Uh, after that, I went to go pick up Camilla. Yeah, and I just stayed in my room and took a nap. Everybody went to village... Or went village. to village. Uh, Six Flags, and Tyler and Courtney said they had a terrible time. I haven't talked to the other guys. Paid a lot of money and did nothing. Dude... Dude, I knew the lines were gonna be fucking stupid. Yeah. It's the beginning of summer, just... And so they right now decided that they were just going, I guess not right now, a few hours ago, just decided, we're going to drive back. So they were so mad, they just wanted to leave Texas. So they're going to arrive home about one in the morning. Ugh. So there's that. Um, what I, You know, honestly, what I think they need to do for the next STC is get more lesser, I don't want to say lesser known, but like the first few STCs, everyone else was like Brennel Floss wasn't very big yet like people knew who he was yeah. but he wasn't like he was a screw attack name but he wasn't like a YouTube celebrity name same with Nathan hey yeah Ash. Nathan wasn't big then hey, you know Hey Ash Spoonie to a degree I don't know if it's just they have so many of these to go to now they come in do their thing and leave yeah this angry is, this at some point in time uh, James Raw AVGN yeah. his felt really like I'm here to do my shit and then I'm gonna leave yeah. but towards the end he like started doing like like personal things and then mm-hmm. I was like alright he's in this yeah and like the first I remember the first SGC he, we randomly saw him in the game room like he was, yeah, he was hanging just... out in the arcade you know um, and Spoonie was singing on Rock Band and stuff like that so I don't know if it's, this is purely speculative but I don't know if they're so used to these things that they come in, do their thing, go to the dealer room, sell their stuff, and go. Yeah. Whereas maybe the first few years, they're like, holy shit, I got this panel, I'm going to go have fun. So I, I think they need to get people, more people like Andre, because I saw Andre around a lot. Um, black Nerd. Oh, um, okay. I, uh, that's his name. The yeah. Black nerd. I don't care. Camille's <laughs> laughing at that, but that's that's his YouTube name, Andre the Black Nerd. Andre the Black Nerd. <laughs> um... Like game grumps, I think would be really good because they're they're two people that would definitely hang around and like hang out with people. Yeah. We would hang around and hang out with people if they wanted to invite yes, us back. Yes, we would. Craig, Craig, please. We'll, we'll do a panel. Craig, please, we'll do a live podcast. We will. I will. I will eat something. Tell you horrible. what, those six people that show up will have the time of their fucking. Life. Yeah, we will. I will buy if six people show up. I will like go out and buy some alcohol and come back for the panel. I will. May, you buy alcohol for everybody. Yeah, just let's <laughs> fucking what? do this. Here's, here's one thing I kind of wish they would have done again. The first two SGCs, there was um, it, it sounds weird to say adult panels because it was just 18 plus. Yeah. Like, but they didn't have many of those, like the GPX panels. GPX know? panels were the be- one of the best parts about the Where first it was just SGC. Riffing and having fun and telling stories and stuff like that. Just making fun of their. And you didn't like... really have much of that. Um, I know the Clay Iguana reunion. There was a lot of good stories. But, was there? Damn. Um, 
But there wasn't like that intimate setting, you know, 30 people in a room just having fun. Or yeah. like when Spoonie went for like six hours at his panel because nothing was after him. Did he really go for that long? He did the second SGC. Oh, he did? Oh, yeah, shit. Because there was nothing after him. I, I think I, I've told that story a couple times, but yeah. Nice. You know, for a really long time. Good for him. So, yeah, I was kind of just missing some of that. Still had fun, but I, I would say out of the three SGCs, this is number three. Yeah, I really enjoyed the first one. I, the first one had just it. It was power. It felt yeah, it had energy. Year two, I think, is the best. Really? Yeah. I don't know why he went, didn't go. I don't fucking remember. I can I can tell you why he didn't go. Can you? I can tell you. Yeah, you had a ball and chain that didn't want to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. You fucked that. Her name was Da Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, this was it was all right. It was a good time. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, and uh, technically it's not over. We're still in the hotel room. Oh, yeah, going to sleep again. Wake up. But I mean, the festivities are over. So uh, tomorrow, let's pre- let's pretend this is after tomorrow. Let's recap the day. Monday. We're gonna <laughs> woke up at four thirty. Punch Dandy. <laughs> um, Camilla then tripped me on my way out at, for retribution. Uh, got in the car. Um, Camilla started screaming. <laughs> um, I stuck my head out the window. <laughs> um, around 8 o'clock, we all started to calm down. Andy fell asleep in the driver's seat, and we all died. <laughs> so this won't get posted. <laughs> yeah. So this will be like the relic they find. Like, we found a laptop. We found Matt's laptop. What's on this? Holy oh, there's shit. a lot of porn, and what's this? SGC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the drive back will be... I actually think it'll be alright. Yeah, as long as we just, like, it was fun. The, the first drive-down like, was pretty relaxing. Like, so. we just played music, and just talked. Hung out, yeah. And just, like, if there was nothing to talk about, we just drove and sat there. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice. Got some sweet quotes from the drive, like Andy saying, in ghost prison, no hole is safe. <laughs> <laughs> no hole is safe, man. <laughs> we gotta write these down on the way back. Uh, it was fun swerving on the road and freaking Camille out. Yeah, she does not like that. She doesn't like it at all. <laughs> Look at that face. She's glaring at us right now, but yeah, that was fun. I'll do it. I'll do it at like 5 in the morning. Just... Yeah. Ah! Snack. <laughs> How did they die? There's a huge handprint on the side of Andy's face. And the car just veered off into the road. Oh, man. Uh, That was SGC. Yeah, and we will be back next week with something special. Yeah, 100th episode. Wow! Be live, suckers. Are we going to try and get Tyler for that? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll try and get Tyler for that. I can't see why we don't because he doesn't do anything. So. Yeah. Which, <laughs> Matt, we've talked about having, we'll finally have a third yeah, host if he's up to it. Maybe having a third host if he's up to it, of course. But uh, I don't see why not. <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not either. But, yeah, so that's SGC. 2013. Yeah. We had a good time. Yeah, we did have a good time. It was and a if there is a 14, might go. I'll that, go. If, if it's 14, it may be close to the wedding, so that's why I might not go for financial reasons. Look at you. I have Look I have you. to be responsible. Look at you. But I mean, I, I could just go and say fuck the wedding. You don't <laughs> have to choose between them, Andy. I know, I know. You just went to Italy in here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Italy was ex- Italy actually was not as expensive as I thought it was gonna end up being, but it was still pricey. It put a dent in my bank account. Well, of course it did. Yeah. But and this actually did not put a big dent in my bank account, quite honestly. Yeah. So that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll, we'll do it for our SGC recap. Remember, find us on Facebook, facebookcom slash 3 combo podcast, twittercom slash 3 combo PC. That is the number three PC stands for podcast. Find us on youtube.com, search 3 a combo podcast. Email us at 3 a combo podcast, gmail.com, and find us at 76streetnetwork.com. Yeah! For Andy, this is Matt, signing out. Thank you.